Next we have our layer 5. Now our layer 5 is our session layer and this is going to be our traffic control layer. Our layer 5 is going to control the, con the connections between our computers and it's going to be the layer that establishes, manages, and terminates connections. So when we're thinking about the actual layer that um, says, OK, you're allowed to talk now, um, or the layer that uh, creates the connection and manages who can send when, who can send what, what type of protocol and everything we're going to use, um, this is going to be our session 5. Uh, again, our, our session 5 regulates uh, when computers can send, how much they can send, um, and essentially coordinates our conversation. So that's, our layer, uh, that's where our layer 5 performs at. Now, when we think about our previous layers, we think about our layer 1, our physical layer, our layer, two, layer 2, our data link layer, our layer 3, network layer, layer 4, transport layer. All of these layers so far have really just sent data or sent or received data. Our physical layer, our network interface card, there's no physical way to um, control traffic other than unplugging a cable from our computer and we're not going to get anything. Um, and our data link layer, our MAC addresses, aren't really going to provide any way of controlling when they can send and receive data. Same with our network layer. Our network layer is just going to be doing IP addressing. It's really just going to be assigning logical addresses to our physical addresses. And it's going to be uh, routing that information over various networks. And then we have our layer 4, where we talked about TCP or UDP. And it manages uh, how that information is sent over our network. It manages packaging data into smaller chunks so that the other computer can receive it and it can uh, take the data and reassemble it. Layer 4, as we said, essentially just manages that particular data stream and manages uh, making sure that that conversation gets to where it needs to go. Well, before we get onto our other layers, before we uh, format the data in Layer 6 or Layer 7, decide which applications can talk on our network, we need to have something that's controlling this whole conversation that's going on with our Layers 1 through 4. So that's our Layer 5. Our layer 5, our session layer, is going to be where we um, create, we establish a connection, uh, we, perform our hand, we perform our handshake with the other computer, and then when we're done talking, we terminate our connection. And then all of our other layers sort of function with that. And they get the pack, they, our layers up to this point have got the packages ready, they're ready to get the packets where they need to go, but something needs to coordinate that. We, on our assembly not line, we need, a, we, need a man, we need a shipping manager to let us know where these packets go or when to start sending the packet, when we've received payment and we've uh, made sure that this person, this address is the correct address that we need to send to. Uh, this person, we need to have a person, we need to have a layer that manages that. And when we're in talking about our computers and when we're, uh, when we're using our computer layers in our OSI, OSI model, that's going to be the function of our layer 5.